In 2005, um, I was the Director of Racing Operations and Equestrian for the Hong Kong Jockey Club. In the first week of September, uh, the then Executive Director of Racing, who's now our CEO, Winfred Eckerberg Bridges, called a meeting in his office to formally advise us that we'd been approached to see how we could assist with the um, equestrian events for the Beijing Olympics. That was a, a massive challenge. The first thing we looked at was to see how the Hong Kong Jockey Club could be the sole provider. We had to uh, accommodate approximately 20,000 spectators. From the history of past Olympics, it was quite obvious that we needed to have stabling for around 230 um, horses to compete uh, for the Olympic event. We also needed a cross-country course for the eventing league that we knew had to be around somewhere between 5,500 metres and up to just over 6,000 metres in length. So that's the equivalent of an 18-hole golf course. The next important thing to think about was not only the location of the venue, but how the club could support it. We had to support it from a veterinary point of view, a logistics, a, a transport point of view. Everything had to be uh, brought in and built on a on a temporary basis. Obviously the, the stables, we built 200 new stables and all the support infrastructure for that. That obviously became a very important legacy um, value to the, to the equine industry of Hong Kong afterwards. Again, um, when you're doing for an Asian Games, there are very strict protocols you have to follow. While the, we were doing the preparations for the Asian Games, we were also looking at how we could integrate um, as a legacy value uh, Chung Fa in, into Hong Kong's um, racing facilities. The two biggest legacy values really was the disease-free zone. The stables themselves, while they were adequate for Asian Games, they did not come up to the uh, expectations of our owners for, for horse racing. And of course we had many, many other facilities we required, uh, like permanent um, uh, veterinary hospital. Really the legacy value itself was, was the site and how we could integrate the site into Hong Kong. I honestly believe for the land that we have and what we were able to do with it, um, I think Hong Kong can be incredibly proud of it. The jockeys were very, very pleased with what we'd done with the, the main turf track. We now have a one metre rise in the track in Chung Fa and that purely came from the jockeys and, there's, and ideas came from the trainers. Um, trainers had ideas on how spelling should be done, the size of spelling paddocks, etc. So it, it's a lot more than one person. There's many people contributed to it.